Prader-Willi syndrome was named after the doctors who first described it as a syndrome. It was recognized to be apparent at birth and it affects intellectual, functioning, social and physical development. And like all syndromes, it has certain common characteristics and a specific cause. And I heard them saying as I came through the anaesthetic, quickly, quickly is not breathing. But every day, different ideas were given. Nobody knew anything about it. When he was finally diagnosed at the age of 14, we were told that they didn't know anything about what it was, but they knew it was to do with the brain. Probably the hallmark of prader woody syndrome is this shift in early childhood from this period of failure to thrive and under-eating and being underweight to the development of what is referred to as hyperphagia, this overeating, and a, this extreme risk for obesity if, if families are not aware of what is happening. Uh, and it becomes necessary at that stage to limit access to food. So it is the hyperphagia that is a key aspect and a hallmark of this particular syndrome. i never forget that first conference. First, it was so wonderful to see 22 countries, some of whom I'd met before, some of the parents when I'd been in their countries. But I remember Dr. Prada saying one thing he said was, I've learned more from the parents than I've learned through all the years of research I've done. And the doctors, perhaps now they are knowing more than what they did 18 years ago when my son got his diagnosis. IPSO's role is to support its members, which are national Prader-Willi syndrome associations, as well as to provide direct support to people with Prader-Willi syndrome, the families and the professionals who work with them. To Huron and I attended the two-day conference. That is where I met uh, uh, Kim and met the board of IPSO, IPWSO, and they told me to come back to India and start the association here and help families. That is how it all started for me. The creation of Brother Willy Ecuador Foundation was necessary because we have no support from the authorities in the treatment and diagnosis in addition to pro providing support to the families. Without the family, it's not possible at all yeah. because they're the support system of these individuals. Something that's remarkable about IPSO and that struck me from when I got involved, I think over 10 years ago at this stage, is that there is such a tremendous sense of solidarity between the people who either have the syndrome, their families or the professionals who know about it with others who are in a similar position in other parts of the world. Primero que todo, la IPSO es para nosotros como la fuente del saber, donde están todas las personas que llevan muchos años de su vida aprendiendo, investigando y atendiendo a las personas con este síndrome. Entonces, pertenecer a la IPSO nos genera mucha seguridad, porque es quien reúne a todos estos profesionales de la salud. Están también muchos países asociados a la organización y entonces es el sentimiento de no estar solos y de estar muy bien acompañados, además. ¿Qué ha significado la IPSO para Colombia? Ha sido fundamental en todo el proceso the transferencia de conocimiento. So I feel very motivated and grateful to be a part of IPSO because I think it's a noble cause and I think it is very enjoyable and fulfilling on a personal level to be surrounded by so many people who are so supportive and empathetic towards the global community despite the personal challenges that they may also be facing. Tomorrow will be a better day and if it's not with a lot of enthusiasm you still carry on. So, so you'll be labelled insane, but it is good. As long as the, the job gets done, it is well. So yeah, at least we'll go down in history as the insane African who pushed for rare genetic diseases. So that would be good. My grandkids will be happy. So. <laughs> so I think Ipswell should always be innovative. It should be horizon scanning. 
They should look at new ways of spreading knowledge in terms of communication strategies and social media. They should be looking at new research that could be applied to understanding Prada-Willi syndrome.